hello welcome to the channel so in today's lecture uh, we'll continue our uh, lecture series on uh, solar radiation and the reference book i'm considering is sp sukatni so this is the part 3 uh, of the lecture series and in today's lecture uh, we will study about air mass what is air mass and how it influences the uh, intensity of the solar radiation so before going into the detail let us first of all discuss what is a uh, uh, beam radiation and what is a uh, diffuse radiation now first of all uh, let us suppose this to be the earth and uh, this dotted line is to be the this is the atmosphere of the earth okay now the solar radiation falling on the atmosphere of the earth is known as extra terrestrial radiation okay we have already discussed about extra terrestrial radiation uh, what is solar constant in the previous part so please do check uh, check out those videos if you want to have a clear concept about extra terrestrial radiation and what is solar constant okay now the radiation received by the earth atmosphere uh, it is known as extra terrestrial radiation and the intensity of that radiation it decreases as it passes through the atmosphere it means that the intensity of the radiation at the beginning of the atmosphere at this point will be high compared to the radiation when it is when it is received by the earth surface okay so there is a difference between the intensity of the radiation this is because of the atmosphere okay and this uh, reduction in the intensity of the radiation happens because it is subjected to the mechanism of absorption and scattering okay due to various layers of the atmosphere okay so what is the reason that the intensity of the radiation it decreases as it passes through the atmosphere what is the reason the reason is the uh, that the radiation is the radiation is subjected to the mechanism of absorption and scattering okay due to the various layers of atmosphere okay now this is the reason that the intensity of the radiation it decreases okay now absorption uh, most of the particles of uh, various gases and particulate matter they absorb uh, this uh, uh, radiation intensity and uh, so absorption by water vapor gases and particulate matter okay that's why uh, we are familiar with the concept of uh, greenhouse gas so most of the gases most of the greenhouse gases they absorb uh, the solar radiation and increases the uh, the temperature that's why they are called greenhouse gases now scattering um, scattering of light takes place due to the various particles on the earth atmosphere there are various particles and those particles when the beam of light hit those particles uh, the light scatters okay now let me draw a diagram it will be more clear suppose this to be the earth surface and uh, this is the earth atmosphere now the solar radiation which is known as extra terrestrial radiation falling on the uh, earth atmosphere now most of the radiation it passes through and this is known as the beam radiation okay this is known as beam radiation and some of the radiation they are scattered away okay and when these radiation reaches earth earth surface they are known as diffused radiation okay so these are known as diffused radiation okay so what i mean to say is that the intensity of the intensity of extra terrestrial radiation it decreases okay it decreases due to the earth atmosphere due to earth atmosphere okay and they are generally uh, you know splitted into two type of radiation one is beam radiation and another one is diffused radiation and the sum of these two radiation is known as the total radiation okay the sum of beam radiation and the diffused radiation is known as total radiation that means if this is the earth surface and this is the atmosphere let us suppose this is extra terrestrial radiation okay 
now this radiation is known as beam radiation and the radiation which are scattered away due to the earth uh, atmospheric particles and when they reach the earth they are known as diffuse radiation okay and the sum of these two radiation is known as total radiation okay now there is a decrease in the value of intensity from extra terrestrial radiation to the total radiation okay there is a decrease in the intensity of the radiation because of what is the reason because of absorption and scattering okay so we have to keep in mind that extra terrestrial radiation it has the maximum intensity and as it passes through the earth atmosphere that in a value of intensity it decreases because of scattering and uh, diffusion okay now we are in the position uh, to learn about the concept of air mass okay so what is air mass it is denoted by the symbol m now it is the ratio between the distance traveled by the beam radiation before it reaches a particular location on earth surface to the minimum possible distance the beam a radiation can travel okay so what does air mass mean air mass is the ratio let us suppose this to be the earth and this to be the atmosphere of the earth okay now this is the uh, ratio between the distance travel by the beam radiation before it reaches a particular location on or let us suppose this is the particular location where the beam radiation is needed to be travel okay this is sun this is earth now this is the beam radiation okay now the distance travel within the atmosphere from here to here okay this distance a to b now the ratio between the distance traveled by the beam radiation in the atmosphere okay in the atmosphere this is important before it reaches a particular location on earth so a by b divided by to the minimum possible distance a beam radiation can travel what is the minimum possible distance a beam radiation can travel within the atmosphere okay what should be the minimum distance this is the minimum distance a radiation a beam radiation uh, uh, minimum possible distance a beam radiation can travel okay so this is a dash and this is b dash so the air mass is the ratio between the distance traveled by the beam radiation in the atmosphere before it reaches a particular location on earth to the minimum possible distance a beam radiation can travel within the atmosphere okay so air mass is ab by ab a dash b dash okay now mathematically this another formula for air mass which is equal to 1 upon cos theta z okay and theta z is known as a zenith angle now what is zenith angle let us suppose this to be a horizontal surface on the earth okay this is a horizontal surface and the normal to the horizontal surface this is the normal to the horizontal surface and this is the angle between the beam radiation and the normal to the horizontal surface this is known as zenith angle okay now we will talk about uh, solar angle or the solar geometry in the next lecture in detail for the case, uh, for the case of air mass we are only uh, studying about zenith angle okay now there's another way to write air mass am okay now what does am1 means am1 am1 means that the distance traveled by the beam radiation at a particular location that location becomes b dash okay so this becomes a dash b dash divided by a dash b dash so this is air mass one so what does it mean it means that the sun is directly over the head okay now there's another point that we need to consider is that the intensity of the radiation intensity of the radiation somewhat depends on the air mass okay it somewhat it is a function of air mass why because a beam radiation 
will travel more distance okay from a to b a to b so the radiation intensity will decrease as compared to these two point a b a b dash okay that's why the intensity of the radiation decreases as the air mass increases okay that is as the air mass increases the intensity of the radiation i it decreases okay so in today's lecture we we'll, uh, we have completed uh, the concept of air mass and hopefully in the next lecture we will study about the geometry of uh, the uh, sun geometry okay and we'll consider various angles so thank you for the lecture